Well, I studied violin with my father, and he had an opportunity to really shape my notion of music as a language and how it gets conveyed. I really am a reflection of his training. Um, I started work with the Phoenix Symphony, and we began developing new ways of presenting the orchestra in an educational environment there. That work attracted the attention of the people in Omaha who were looking to continue a really wonderful tradition of dynamic and interesting educational programming. There's a huge breadth of the programming that we do here, which is really exciting. And what we want to create is ignition experiences. We want to create opportunities for kids to say, wow, I could do that. In Core Collaborative, we invite a number of choirs from the community who have already established themselves as led by really wonderful teachers. Teachers who are willing to take on a project that, that's going to encompass their entire fall. And the end of that process is the opportunity to perform with our orchestra. I remember the first time we had 500 voices up here and, and they sang Carmina Barana. They go from working in their you know, rehearsal rooms or maybe if they're lucky on their own stage to a 2,000 seat hall specifically built for acoustical music. So you bring down this downbeat and you hear these, uh, this, the power of that sound. I still just get chills. And from that point forward, we've developed programs that really amplify that experience. So it's that experience of not only passively listening to music, but actively making music that really opens the door to a lifelong appreciation of that. I've had such great fortune throughout the course of my life to have such great training that when I have the opportunity to present this language I that I love and the sound that just goes to the core of who I am, it's, it's, it, makes me understand why it is that I've pursued this career and, and why it is I study, why it is I conduct, because this language is so powerful. I'm very grateful for this recognition and, and I want to thank um, my orchestra that plays beautifully regardless of the circumstances. I want to thank an organization that uh, provides resources and kind of limitless notions of what an orchestra can do. And of course, the donors who have made all of this possible. Without all of these elements, um, we wouldn't have the sound of a symphony orchestra in our community, and we certainly wouldn't have the opportunity to educate with the sound of our orchestra.